So most people by now will have seen what happened in the Houses of Parliament in question time uh, yesterday, <laughs> April the 30th, the uh, Waco Gate. But did you hear what happened just before it? What they were saying before it? Did you see what happened after they said it? <laughs> Let's take a closer look. So just before this incident all kicked off, this, <laughs> this is what Polyev was saying. Mr. Speaker, I always uh, condemn extremism and racism, including from the guy who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist, dressing up in hideous racist <laughs> costumes so many times. <laughs> So yeah, that didn't go down well to start with. So the Liberal House Speaker, Mr Fergus, yeah, Liberal House Speaker, he asked Polyev, would you please rephrase that? <laughs> so uh, this is what he said. Mr Speaker, I condemn, I condemn a Prime Minister who allows the IRGC, which murdered 55 Canadians, to remain legal. And I condemn a Prime Minister who allows open use of crack, heroin, meth, and weapons in hospital rooms that threaten nurses and on school buses next to children. Will the Prime Minister reverse his extremist policies? And the so there he is. He's calling it extreme. I've had to, I've had to drop the volume. And I'll, I've added the words in that he said, but because YouTube won't allow some of the words that Polyev even said in, in Parliament this time, he he he's, he's he he gunned for uh, for for Trudeau, really gunned for him. So Trudeau had um, a, a minute here to just have his little rebuttal. Let's have a listen to what he had to say, and then <laughs> then it kicks off. Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us exactly what shameful, spineless leadership looks like. He shakes hands with white nationalists and then goes to actively support the support of those members and has the nerve. Get it together, Frank! Any idea what you're doing? Any idea what you just said? This is, this has never happened before in Canada. So Trudeau continued and he did the old dialogue, Diaga Long and all that lot. And uh, he, he continued to try and um, try and get <laughs> Polyev into trouble again by mixing with the wrong crowd, which he doesn't. It's just people in, in the wrong crowd agree with what he's saying. But here's what he said. This is a group that advocates for violence against Jewish LGBTQI plus Canadians, <laughs> against Hindus and Sikhs. Uh, against uh, Muslims and Jews. Diagalon stands against everything we stand for as Canadians, and yet he will not denounce them or what they stand for. That is shameful, Mr. Speaker. That, the Diagalon thing is stupid. It was just a, it was a, I, I, I put it in one of my previous videos when you see Polyev go into the, one of the, uh, protests at the border and as he comes out of one of the trailers you just see a little scribble on the door that's it that's all he's got you know it's not like polyev invited a nasty person into parliament i gave him a round of applause now is it anyway let's move on and get now we'll get to the uh the the main the main event Mr. Speaker, that, like everything else he says, is false. He uses fears and fear and falsehood and this latest exactly. distraction because he doesn't want to face the fact that he has become so extreme and radical that even the B.C. NDP is distancing himself, themselves from his decriminalization of crack, heroin, meth, and other hard drugs in hospital rooms causing nurses to have to stop breastfeeding their babies for fear that their contaminated air might end up in the breast milk of the baby. Why won't he ban these drugs? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. 
we will still won't condemn these groups. Since the NDP has asked him to reverse course on his and formerly their radical policy, 22 British Columbians have died of drug Sorry. overdoses. But he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko prime minister? There you go. No. 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 That is not... Ex there are a couple of things which are going on here today. There are a couple of things going on here. One, Polyev is telling the truth. And two... Trudeau is lying. Two things. They're both going on at the same time. Anyway, Fergus gets upset and asks him to change what he says or retract the wacko part. I'm going to ask the Honourable Leader of the Opposition one last time to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. I simply withdraw and replace with the aforementioned adjective. Exactly. For disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by staff, so they kicked him out. I order you to withdraw from the house for the many participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting. This guy. Hey. So what happens, do you think? Do you know what happens? Do you know what happens next? Have you seen it in the news? You don't see everything on the news. He's turned the sound off, but you, it doesn't show you everything because CPAC edit their own videos and they've edited out the um, the actual visual of them leaving. Everybody leaves. Let's watch this. They're not showing they're not showing everyone leaving on the uh, on the news, but everyone's leaving. Everyone's left. They've gone. Cleared off. Thank you. You're done for the day. The second matter which I was going to bring up there isn't a second matter. There is, there is, there are no other matters other than the parliamentary official opposition walked out. That's the only matter that matters this week. So, what do you think? Do you think they were right to walk out? Do you think Polyev was telling the truth, or do you think Trudeau is, you know, batting batting for the right team or the wrong team? Just leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. But this is. Absolutely. It's it's the craziest thing that's ever happened to Canadian politics. I'm just going to finish off with, I've moved on to 22, 23 minutes into proceedings, and you can see everybody. Everybody has left. Everybody's gone. There is nobody left. Look, everyone's gone. Everyone on the Conservative side has left the House. No stragglers. Nobody stayed behind. Gone. Boom. Bye. <laughs> and yeah, they carried on with question time. But who's calling out the government? Who's asking the questions? The government's asking their own questions or just, or just answering their own questions. The biggest question is here, will the Conservative government come back into Parliament, come back into question time, and will the 2024 budget go through now knowing that <laughs> there's no one there to vote for it? There's no one there. They're not there. It's it's cr crazy times, guys. Crazy times. Canadian politics. It's just absolutely wacko. <laughs> Till next time.